Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is lessons from Rebecca and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Genesis chapter 25 verse 22b. If all is well, why am I like this? So she went to inquire of the Lord. As I recorded the last episode, today's message came strongly in my spirit and remained burning in my heart all weekend. The words of the scripture were spoken by Rebecca. Now, Rebecca was barren, but God remembered her and caused her to conceive. While pregnant, she felt what the Bible called a struggle in her womb. And she said, if all is well, why am I like this? She knew something was wrong. She knew what she was feeling was unusual. She knew she needed help. My dear listeners, a lot of believers today need to take a cue from Rebecca. Rebecca noticed something unusual and ran to God to inquire on what she should do. These days, rather than run to God, when we see things that do not align with what the word of God says we are, believers accept or rationalize the torment Satan is sending their way. You find that your children are exhibiting contrary behaviors despite all the godly training and upbringing that you gave them. And rather than run to God, you sit and call it adolescence. You find that as a believer, your child continues to fail in school. And rather than inquire from the Lord, you put it to the fact that the child is probably not cut out for the school system. The enemy plagues your mind over and over again with despair and suicidal thoughts. And you pin it on the fact that your own parents also suffered from depression and anxiety rather than seek the face of God on what to do. You see cycles repeating themselves in your family line and you wave such contrary cycles. You wave them off as genetic disorders that you can do nothing about rather than seeking the face of God. My dear listeners, I've come this morning to wake you up. Satan is enjoying an advantage over some of us because we no longer even recognize his devices. Sickness is of the devil. Torment is of the devil. Satan is working overtime in the lives of some of our children and parents are waving it off and giving medical and scientific explanations. When Rebecca noticed the pattern, she didn't, she didn't rationalize it. She didn't wave it off. She ran to inquire of the Lord what she should do. This morning, I need you to do a quick search of your life. What do you need to stop accepting? The Bible says that since the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffers violence and only the violent take it by force. Wake up. Stop playing with the devil with kids' gloves. Seek the face of God. Walk in the spirit. God works on principles, my dear listeners, and you will need to come to him for him to step into your situation. That is his principle. So if you keep accepting and rationalizing the torment Satan is bringing into your life, God cannot step in. You need to get angry. You need to get fed up in your spirit. You need to run to the God who has your solutions. No doctor can really help you if God doesn't help you. Run to God. Be like Rebecca. Inquire of him and your deliverance will come. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your people this morning, that they will not be unaware of the devices of the enemy. This morning, I speak healing over your people. I speak peace over troubled situations. I break the hand of the enemy over the minds of recalcitrant kids. Lord, we give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you were blessed, please drop me a line on audio devotional at yahoo.com or on our website on www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.